football league's corrupt. The football league's corrupt. Now you're going to believe us. All right, guys, what's going on? My name is Ollie Ward. Welcome back to the Ollie Ward channel. It has just ended at Ellen Road. Leeds United won. West Bromwich Albion won. Should Leeds United have won that game? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But before we do get into the Leeds United match reaction, obviously, smash that like button. If you thought Leeds should have won today, smash it, okay? I want to see hundreds of likes because I, I thought we were, we were fantastic tonight also subscribe if you are new look how close we are to 11.6k i'm going to give you three seconds to subscribe uno dos and tres and today comment your man of the match and should Leeds united won that game you know overall tonight we saw that team on paper when it first came out and we thought this doesn't look good okay it doesn't look good at all but the players fought for that tonight their goalkeeper got man of the match you know and i've just watched luke ailing and archie gray talk to sky sports after the game and Luke Ayling's come out and said, you know, the fans need to stick with us. We're training every day on the pitch. And he looked quite like sad about it. And it's like, we're not annoyed with the players that want to play for Leeds United. It's the likes of Nonto, you know, Aronson, Harrison, Rocker, all these players that have jumped shipped. We're, we're not annoyed at the players that have put an effort in tonight because they should have got three points tonight. The fact we've walked away of a point is annoying. You know, we should have, we should have won the, the game tonight. And that's why I started off with the football leagues corrupt. They've scored with a handball. We should have had a pen in there. I, it was more of a joke. You know, I'm not blaming officials. Um, but, you know, if we're in Premier League, that goal gets ruled out. We probably do get a penalty. And, you know, one of their blokes maybe should have been sent off. He handballed it and he also gave away a free kick. So, I, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. What? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But I thought the boys made us proud tonight. We looked at that team sheet. You know, Shax is in there. Archie's in there. there was a, it was a young squad. And it is a young squad this season. And I looked at it and I, I wasn't confident. I thought, you know, if we keep two, three goals down, then I'm happy. But the fact we walked away at a point should have been three. I'm very, very happy. You know, we go into our next game against Ipswich next Saturday. It's going to be a hard game. Obviously, we know Ipswich have started off the season very well. But hopefully we bring in some sign-ins by then. Hopefully the window's ended. And even Luke Ayling said it. He, he just wants the window to be ended. He wants to know who his teammates are. He wants to know who's going to be in. And then Leeds can compete. There's 43 games left of this season. You know, there's still a long way to go. But I thought tonight there, there was character there. Okay, Ayling scoring the header. It was a lovely header. Lovely assist from Dan James. So I thought Dan James was up there with one of our best players tonight. Sam Byram at left back does the job, gets leads. He's been my most like, underrated player this season so far. He gets leads. Joe Roden, brilliant debut from him next to Strauch. I thought them two looked comfortable together. Melier couldn't do much for the goal. I thought his distribution was okay tonight. There was some, you know, typical Melier balls where they go up for a throw in. Ayling, again, brilliant attacking. It's just defending. He needs to work on. Uh, scored the header, obviously. He's passion. I love it. Good goal from Ailing. Archie and Ampadu in the middle of the park. I've, I've struggled to criticise them Them two this season. They win the ball. They pass the ball. They do their job. And that's what I like from midfielders. Dan James, I thought, was brilliant. Joffy, again, very, very quiet. I would have started Sam Greenwood. I know he's just come back from injury. Joffy needs to do a bit more for me. He really does. And we always try and play football round Joffy. And I've just, I just, I can't. I, I'm struggling to see what he offers. But, you know, he did get more into the game. He could have, he should have got the penalty as well. Um, but he has got a good shot on him. But we're just not getting enough shots off. Shaq's, I thought first half he wasn't in there at all. Second half he was winning the ball back. And that's what I like with a player like Shackleton. He wins the bleep test every Every year because the boy runs and that's what you need especially when you've got seven players on the bench two of them goalkeepers you need someone who can run for 90 and Jamie Shackleton have done exactly that Jorginho Ruta today you know didn't get enough service you know I didn't expect him to have like a striker's game he was kind of just chasing defenders winning the ball holding up the ball he had a shot near the end but obviously I was thinking you know of course he's going to shoot here because he hasn't had a shot all night and it wasn't the best of efforts. But, you know, he's just getting back to full fitness. He needs to start playing more 90 minutes. But the thing is, we don't have a big squad. We don't know who's staying or who's, get, who's going. We don't know who we're bringing in. But all I can say is, as Leeds fans tonight, I think we're proud of that performance. It was a performance to be proud of. And realistically, we should have maybe won the game, if we're being completely honest. I don't know if West Brom fans would agree. If you are a West Brom fan watching this, let me know in the comments down below. Um but yeah, I thought we, we held him out nice. We had more of the possession. We had more shots. Their goalkeeper was man of the match and he made some terrific saves. Uh, especially that one going in the top corner from Dan James. That was a lovely save. Lovely effort from Dan James. Like I said, that's more of what we want to see from Dan James. I thought tonight he'd done just the amount of right holding onto the ball. Little late one-twos, winning free kicks, using his pace. That's what he needs to do more often. And he's gonna start he's gonna start a lot of games this season now. Jack Harrison's not here. Sinny's futures, you know, you don't know what's going on with Sinny and Nonto and all that stuff. Uh, just quickly touch on the Nonto situation. Tonight he has handed a written uh, a transfer request. He wants to leave, he wants to go. And 
it was just poor timing. You know, we've got a game tonight and he's come out and said that and it's just not it's just not right. And I think get him out of the club, get some money from him and let's reinvest. Let's get players who want to play for Leeds United because you showed tonight and that, that gave sort of similar performance, you know, with the Bielsa squad. Bielsa squad first season wasn't technically the best. You had the likes of Dallas, Alioski, Helder Costa. They weren't the best footballers, but they played for the shirt. And that's what you saw tonight. And we were lucky not to come away with three points. And if we can wear three points tonight, we know we're absolutely buzzing. It's a bit of a mare that we picked up a point, but it is what it is. It's better than a loss. We've got two points this season. I know we go to Ipswich at the end of the month, which is it's a difficult fixture and our history at Portman Road is awful. Um, but either way, that's a performance to be proud of tonight. I thought we'd done okay. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, a point is a point. Guys, I want to let me let me know what you think in the comments down below. Who was your man of the match? And uh, also, do you think we deserve to win? If you do, smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. I've been Ollie Ward, and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheery. <laughs>